Hi everyone, this is Dushu Arima. Welcome to part 1 of my fitness series. So, for the last couple of months, I have been asked a single question repeatedly and by so many people. So the question is, how did I lose my weight? So today I'm going to answer how I lost my weight. So please watch the video till the end to know about it. So growing up, I never paid much attention to fitness or physical well-being. I sure was a big foodie. I did not even think that I would one day become overweight. So what happened was after my graduation, I started working in a set of chambers and my lifestyle entailed me waking up in the morning, having breakfast, going to office for work, having lunch, coming back home late after work, having dinner and then going to sleep. Basically it was eat, sleep, work, repeat. That was my life. My job required me to sit behind the desk throughout the day, the long hours, you know, I was in the office. So yeah, basically it was eating three meals a day and sitting all day without any physical activity or exercise. Upon returning home, I had to choose between either working out or having dinner and relaxing. And of course, I chose the easier of the two. I started gaining weight and noticeably so. Meanwhile, I got married and then my husband became my partner in the weight gain journey. I gained so much weight that I had to buy new clothes and alter the ones I had because I couldn't fit in them anymore. Additionally, I started having physical complications such as I had knee joint pain, back ache and even irregular period cycles and all these in my mid 20s. I had difficulty sitting in long traffic. I could not take stairs because it would hurt my knees. I had troubles in long flights because I had to sit for long hours and the list goes on. I visited various doctors at that time for many different problems and most of them suggested that if I lost weight, most of my problems would resolve. My weight gain not only affected my physical health but it terribly affected my mental health as well. I remember being depressed because of how unfit I've become and I hated looking at myself in the mirror. So finally I gathered the courage to weigh myself in a weighing machine and to my utter disbelief I weighed 82 kg which was about 20 kg over my ideal weight and I was shocked. And that was the most I weighed by far. And then I thought, that's it. I have to lose weight. I have to get fitter. So in 2019, I thought of joining a gym. And luckily, there was a gym in the same building as my office. So I thought, what could be better? I would just finish my work, go work out in the gym, and then lose weight, right? Well, no. I worked out in the gym for five months straight but I hardly lost any weight so that frustrated me even more and then I quit the gym. Later in 2020 my husband and I decided that we should give the gym another go. So right after we took the membership of the gym the pandemic hit and unfortunately everything had to shut down for an indefinite period. So of course we had to sit back at home, we were stuck at home, so we thought, okay, let's try to make use of this time, so let's research about how to lose weight when you're at home. So upon researching about it, we learned that in order to lose weight, between diet and exercise, 80% depends on diet and only 20% depends on exercise. And yes, that's exactly why when I worked out in the gym for five months straight I did not lose weight because I was not watching what I was eating I did not pay attention to my diet so upon further research we found out about something called intermittent fasting and its benefits one of which is weight loss so in intermittent fasting we have long fasted hours throughout the day 
and a small eating window where we can eat whatever we want without compromising on our diet. So basically we incorporated intermittent fasting ever since in our lifestyle and soon after we started working out at home. And ever since then, both intermittent fasting and working out at home has become an integral part of our lives. So here I am, 14 kgs down, I feel better and fitter than before. Of course, I'm still not where I want to be. I still have a long way to go, but I'm confident that if I stick by this, I will definitely reach my ultimate goal. And this journey wasn't easy at all. It took a lot of patience, a lot of determination, a lot of hard work, but it's all worth it in the end when you reach your final goal. And when you see yourself and you like what you see, it's the best feeling ever. In this process, I realized something, that you really have to love yourself enough to look after your health, both physical and mental. And do remember that consistency is the key. So just start working out, start having a healthy diet, and be consistent with it, you would definitely see results. Do let me know in the comments section what you think about my fitness journey, and if it at all motivated you, I would really love to hear from you. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube and follow my page on Facebook. And stay tuned for more videos on my fitness series where I will discuss about my diet and workout plans. And let's adapt to a healthy lifestyle together. Bye!